Hey, it's Chadwick again. Wanted to show you finally when you're cleaning up a job at the end how you uh, can move files out of your um, Avid Media Files MXF numbered folders and put them on an external drive so you can archive them, so you can send them off to client storage, uh, whatever you need to do. Basically, we've got a bunch of footage here on our super fast rated um, XSAN and we need to clear it off so we can make room for more footage to, for another project. So the tool to use for that, at least that I know of that we're using right now, is called uh, Media Mover for Avid. It's 150 bucks, kind of overpriced I think for what it does, but it does it well, so it's worth it. It's kind of necessary I think. So anyways, I'll, I'll put the link on, on where you can get this from. But here's how you use it. Um, we all know uh, if you're working in Avid with managed media, it just throws all your footage um, into um, on the root of whatever drive you're working on into Avid Media Files MXF1. I believe after 10,000 possible files, I think, it will create a two folder and start putting stuff in there, and then a three folder and so on. Um, but you can see in here I've got uh, 1,500 files, and you know. I might want to get some extra space, so here's how we're going to do it. Okay, Media Mover. Um, in this app, on the left side, um, first thing we're going to do is be in this Media Folders page. We're going to select which drives we want to take a look at. So it's going to look at every volume you have mounted. And um, first thing we'll do is click to say Find Media Folders, and this will scan. Okay. Right now, it's looking through everything in that um, on that drive, not just those 1,500 files, but everything I have in other MXF folders that I've made. Okay, it's found 66 folders that I had made, and now what I want to do is click Analyze Media Files. This part will take a while, depending on how large your volume is, how many files you have in there. Excuse me. Um, now you can see what is done is switch us over here to the online media page while it is um, scanning through the footage. So you can see it's going through and what it's actually doing is it is looking at back in here um, these MXF files it's looking at all of them right so and within these MXF files it has one um, super important piece of avid metadata and that is the project name it is associated with. So generally what that will be is if you imported a project if you, excuse me, if you imported a file into a project, it's the name of that project. Okay? So if you had multiple projects going for the same project, it's going to know, it's going to relate back to what you actually imported the file into. If you um, possibly had a DIT make the MXF files for you and you um, made your own folder in here, like I've done so, and then the way I brought it into Avid was dragging this MDB file into a bin then those files will have the project name of what the resolved project was. So that's something in it to be aware of. We're still scanning over here and we'll come back in just a minute when this is done scanning. It'll probably take five or ten minutes because there's so many files on that volume. And it looks like it's just about done scanning the media. We can see we've collected um, it has found all these the media with all these different project names here on the left and if we click on this we can sort it you know alphanumerically which is helpful or you could sort it by size let's see what's what's taking up the most room on you know our, our expensive fast storage that we need to move and get off for us we were using this um, avid fast import tutorial footage what we want to do is move this from online to offline media and what that means from a finder perspective is it's going to pull it out of the Avid Media Files MXF1 folder and put it into a folder it created on the root of the same volume that it originated on into Media Mover Offline Avid Media Files MXF1 and then, you know, whatever the project name is with the files. So we'll see that happen here when we do this. So if we go over here, I said Avid Fast Import Tutorial, move offline button down here. 
can see it goes very quickly and now it is no longer part of the online media you go to offline media that tab up here take a second and it's doing the same sort of scanning process that we had seen before but if we quickly just jump over to the finder we'll see it has indeed created a new folder here called avid fast import tutorial and once this is done sort of refreshing we will see all the these this uh, media that was originally in avid media files mxf1 and it simply moved it's not copied it's moved out of there which is great for several reasons um, the main of which being that we could now easily take the stuff that's in the media mover offline folder and take all this and we can with that with a lot of confidence uh, copy this straight to an external drive to be archived uh, in case we needed to do a re-edit a, a year later or you know just so it, it the footage stays around because if we spend a lot of time making it we might as well keep it because transcoding takes time and time is money so the uh, one other way that you can create the copy rather than doing it in the finder is there is an option in here if you click on the uh, project when you're in offline media to click uh, backup media then you'll get the standard um, dialog here to throw it to whatever drive you want to and it will actually create a copy of the files to that external drive um, that's media mover pretty basic pretty simple um, oh one last thing let's say hey um, we go went ahead and close the job out we moved the files offline but we didn't actually remove them off of this uh, media mover offline area yet and they want to do an edit the next day it's as easy as going in here to say move online with that selected and it just shifts them back over to where they were and click on online media and you'll see that uh, the tool has moved your project uh, media back into here so when you open up uh, your project all your files will be connected Avid will be happy hope that helps that's a quick explanation of a super powerful simple tool called media mover to close out Avid projects on a Mac Thanks. Bye.